Good afternoon, you two pipe smokers. So I just left the shop. Figured I'd do another drive uh, video, driving video. And um, you know, today's subject, what I want to talk about is organ organizing. And it's something I struggle with constantly. And I've been watching some videos, and uh, this one particular guy made a good observation. Uh, eliminate as many flat surfaces as possible. Because as we all know, anything that's a flat surface that's clean tends to be a catch-all. You know, every once in a while, I'll, I'll, I'll go on a cleaning spree. And basically, I do throw out some things, but I tend to condense and reorganize. And it looks better when I'm done, but it doesn't really solve the problem. And like a major problem is these charge jacks and uh, cords and what have you. I mean, everything you buy comes with these mini USB charge jacks. And it's really a crime to throw them away because they're good. And they do go bad from time to time. They fray if you use one on a regular basis. Uh, so you can't really sell them because everybody has the same issue. So this one guy suggests these clear shoe boxes. And they're fairly cheap to buy. And uh, make a shelf and label these shoe boxes so you have one cables, one batteries, that type of thing. You know, and organize, make like a library of these clear cases. But, I mean, at some point, when do you throw out? That's the question. You know, and to throw out a good thing, I just have a hard time doing that. But I guess that's, I mean, you can give it to the Salvation Army, I suppose. Or a thrift store, or something like that. Or... But it's something I battle with constantly. And tools are a major, major pain for me because being I have a shop, I have tools there, I have tools home, I have tools in my car, yet you try to do something home and when you come from a shop environment, it's really hard to do work around the house when you come from a shop. Because the shop I have everything, you know, drill press, lathes, grinders, uh, torches, a welder, and I don't have all that stuff home, and you don't always need it, but, you know, when you go from being used to working in a, a workshop, doing anything home becomes a, a task. You almost have to learn how to do it without the proper tools, if that makes sense. Well, you have to have a double setup, but then you have the redundancy of all these items and you can't possibly duplicate everything I have in the shop at home. So it's a constant battle. So anyway, I'm going to Walmart looking for these uh, plastic shoebox bins. And I'll try that method and designate an area and try to organize you know, cables, batteries, chargers, uh, and then with this added pipe stuff, I mean, I have pipes all over, tobacco all over, lighters, uh, unbelievable. Then you got the butane, and the lighter fluid, and the tampers, and... Then I have this other problem, I don't know if other people have it too, but I, I get something in a box and the box is nice. And I don't want to throw away the box because I say it's good for to make something with it. <laughs> I mean, some of these boxes are really nice that they make today. I get this uh, pen uh, set I bought 
And you got to see the beautiful box it came in. It's got a little magnetic latch. It's, uh... Yeah, I know, what can you do with it? But yet, it's too good to throw out. No, do you, anybody else have the same problem? Or is it... Might a weird one. <laughs> Be kind when you answer that. Um... But it's a constant, constant thought process of how to organize. You know, I tend to have fetishes. I have, I'm into watches. I like watches, pens. Uh, I like different pads and I have all these little quirky hangups. And then I have fishing stuff and I have handguns, I have, a whole host of different hobbies that all consume space. So it's a constant battle, constant thought, thinking of what do you do with this stuff? And is there a good answer? I see a lot of these videos. If you ever do a YouTube search on how to make YouTube videos. You look at some of the backgrounds of the, the people, their studio, and it's not cluttered. And I mean, you see where I do most of my videos from. It's, uh, I got a lot of stuff. And yet it's all good stuff. It's like, I, I don't know what to do with it. And a lot of the stuff I like, I like the things I have. It's like, I don't know. It's, it definitely is a, uh, a problem that's requiring a lot of thought. Pipes too. I got to come up with a way to organize pipes. Um, I guess I should build some kind of pipe stand, but I want a cabinet so they they're, uh, they don't get dusty or dirty. Or it'd be nice to have them lined up like Savinelli's and Dr. Graybo's and custom built, so all categorized. I tend to like things with drawers though. Um, So I've been looking at these old wooden, uh, they, they, they command pretty good money though, these wooden uh, card files. That, the schools were full of them back then. They were made out of nice oak. They're really well built with brass hardware. That would be a good way to, each drawer can hold quite a few pipes. And I can make a Savinelli drawer and a different drawer for different make pipes. And then tamp a drawer, light a drawer. And then you can put the little card so you know what you got. Anyway, that's the thought for today. I'd be interested to hear your comments. Do you know any tricks to organizing yourself? Do you just close your eyes and throw away? Give it away? I'd be interested to hear your comments. Thank you, and I hope you all have a good afternoon. Enjoy the weather. Hope it's nice where you are. Get outside. 
barbecue something, fix something, organize something, do something. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Thank you.